Kupaling Shebe, guys. Like in Shebe. <laughs> that you subscribe that you like that you watch my other videos and that you comment tell me what you'd like to see um on this channel and yeah if we've been vibing very welcome back skoko hambalanjan shop shop so guys this is my first ever story time video see what boredom does i'm not really bored i have a lot of work to do but just, i just don't know something is happening and it's not um, any help. It's not of any help to my studies. But something is happening. So I can't really concentrate on my school things. Yeah. So I'm not home, guys. First of all. I'm not home. I'm out here. Ne? On a working trip. But I'm here. Vacationing. My next video should be about that. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of vlogging everything. So I'll edit once I uh, go back home and then post it. Um, so it's going to be after this video probably. So I have this weird tendency of making coffee and then forgetting about it. And then now it's cold. But not that cold. So let's have coffee. It's kind of cold. The way. Based on the title, you guys know what this is about. This is my um, coming out story. Well, not really coming out. How my mom reacted to me being gay. Because I, I don't. I can't really say I have a coming out story. Because I've never had that thing. You know, I've, guys. <laughs> I mean, like I'm gay. No. Black families, South Africa. Uh -uh. Gay. Or gay, but gay. Or a lesbian, but what is? Uh, uh, lesbians. Where did you get that? So you're adopting other people's things and bringing them home. So yeah, I don't really have a coming out story. But how my mom um, reacted, or oh, I don't know what happened. I think she, she had suspicions, and then finally she um, her suspicions. I'm sorry, I'm using my phone, so messages keep coming in. So she had assumptions, and then finally it kicked in and she reacted so this was back in grade 10 because i started dressing like this in grade 8 so in my primary school they were very strict like if you're a girl you only wear trousers during winter and then summer gym dangar Anyways, but I didn't have a problem with that because I used to do a lot of girl. Th I still do a lot of girly things though. Like I'm so girly. Those of you that know me will tell you like I'm girly, bruh. Like, anyways, so when I got to high school, you had a choice. You, if you wanted to wear pants all year round, you wear pants all year round. No one will have a problem with it. And then after that, she got me a tunic. First of all. Uh, she got me full uniform, me and my sister. Oh, yeah, me and my sister have been doing the same grade since grade one. So we went to the same high school, same year, same everything. So she got us full uniform before um, um, we started this new school. Because she got us uniform in December. And then by January, we had everything, everything. And then it was very expensive because we used to um, attend at a government school until high school. So for her, this whole thing of buying expensive uniform and paying school fees was like a big deal because we haven't been paying from grade up. I mean, you know, township things. So it was like a, a total new thing for her. And uh, yeah, it was very expensive at the time. 
considering that obviously she's a single parent and it's two times everything, two times shoes, two times trousers, two times everything. So yeah, and I started, I, I didn't wear, I think I wore it like once or twice and then I stopped wearing it and then I wore pants every, every day, like every, like Monday to Friday to a point where I would even ask her to get me um, another pair of pants because I wasn't wearing the, the tunic. And then, okay, she wasn't okay with it. Plus my best friend at the time, um, I'm not going to mention her. But I'm not gonna mention her name, but those of you that know me probably know what I'm talking about. My best friend at the time is like um a hardcore butch. See, like you don't have to ask if she's gay or not. It's like all over her. And then I th I I think my mom had thought that I would be like that. I think for her the thing that scared her was that maybe she thought me being gay was like I was gonna change completely and be more masculine and you know you know and i'm still here towards that guys sure. anyways so yeah grade eight grade nine all was cool grade 10 started being problems and then grade 11 grade 11 i got um to be part of the um rcl team at school some other school call, call it SRC or something. Yeah, but it, it's the RCL thing in school. And then mm -hmm. in grade 11, I started, I was part of the RCL in grade 11 and grade 12. So in grade 11, when I started, every year, Saka, if you're part of the RCL, during the uh, Good Friday holidays, you go out for a camp. So we're going um, for shopping for the camp, obviously. And then it, it had been a habit. Like, we knew we'd go to a store. I'll go to the boys section, pick up whatever I want, and then my sister would go to the girls section, and then my mom will just pay, you know. So that day, I don't know what happened. As usual, we get to the shop, go to the boys section, my sister goes to the girls section, we shop. So my sister gave me hints for it. My girl, ukwatile girl, like ukwatile for it. Bare kadila para sa basiman. And then I'm like, girl, must relax. But I continue because I'm also hard headed. She's hard headed. Like, so she was so mad. And then she did not pay for some of my things because I was only buying boy things. And then she was she was on some. Why aren't you buying at least unisex things from the girls section? Even for PJs, and your PJs, you want guy pjs why don't you just buy shorts or something and i was like but i want these ones and then my girl just got even angrier and then and then we went back home and when we got home guys <laughs> it, it it was as if she was checking the time when are we getting home when are we getting home because when we got home it, it was it became worse this whole thing she got even worse she was so mad at me i'm sorry messages she was so mad at me she ignored me whatever i said she ignored it and so yeah my sister has always been there guys she's always picked my side shout out to see ya <laughs> ah, anyways so yeah so guys i don't remember what happened or what we were talking about but it was just me and her in the bedroom and my sister was watching tv in the other room and then she gave me a hiding a hell of a hiding brah like a hell of a hiding and she disowned me as you know how black, black parents hate you it's not a matter of it's 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 a Not that she said for sake, but like, okay. See, they talk. But she also on some. So it is being when I need someone. She disowned me, guys. She disowned me that if I continue with my ways, then I should not consider myself as a daughter. And it was a whole mess. Because I just decided, I started by crying, and then I decided to be strong. And it's like, okay. And then, 
it was it was really sad i cried bro that day i cried like i cried not because of the hiding because of the things she was saying and i was like but girl in my head but girl like i'm still your daughter though you know that right it's just that i like other girls like anyways so she gave me a hiding and she didn't stop until my sister um, um intervened and my sister spoke on my behalf because I, I at that point i was just quiet taking the beating i was just on some do what you gotta do girl and then my sister was on some she was also crying Mom, it's enough. and then she stopped and then it was weird for the rest of the night it was so weird no one spoke to anyone and then yeah and then the next day she went to work in the morning and then my sister and i went to school as, as normal because it was just the three of us in the house it was my sister myself and my mom so she went to work me and my sister uh, went to school usually she would leave before we even wake up and then my sister would wake ourselves up get ready for school and go to school and then yeah it was just a normal day the next day yeah and then in the afternoon came back from school everything was normal and then when she came back from work my girl i get her guilt or anything like that but she had a plastic uh, full of clothes for me uh, so I was still going to the camp so she got me all the clothes that I wanted not exactly the same clothes but it was like guy clothes and I didn't complain I was so happy bro I was so happy because to me it was not just about the clothes for me it was her accepting and her actually going to the shop and going into the boys section and picking up clothes for me and pay at the same time she was fully against my um sexuality so for me that that was like wow girl thank you and then hence my mom will forever be my everything guys and then at that moment in time i told myself that i'm not gonna come out to anyone i don't owe anyone an explanation if you think i'm straight then i'm straight if you think i'm gay then i'm gay because i never go around telling people i'm gay i just be my i'm just myself because i don't want people labeling me or thinking that that's that's what i'm about i'm not my sexuality doesn't define me um i'm my own self if i want to be girly i'm going to be girly i if i want to wear a skirt i'm going to wear a skirt if i want if i want to apply some makeup but I, not that i can but if i want to i can and i don't expect you to have a say bra like so yeah i told myself if, if my mom is good with it or is cool with it then everyone else must just you know so yeah so there were other a couple of family members that had a problem with it but it, as long as my mom was cool i was cool and yeah that was it guys I, I haven't come out to my dad we don't communicate but i know my aunt knows that i'm gay and she's cool with it she even knows my girlfriend we cool but my dad we're not close we don't talk i i think he knows from my style and my posts or something but we've never talked about it my brothers no ah, there's a funny thing about my brothers right they have a problem with gay people but they fully support me like us <sighs> If there's a guy who gives me a problem about my sexuality, I'll just go back to him and be like, guys, like, my guy thinks he's going to sort me out. And then they always sort those guys out because your girl is a coward. <laughs> so, yeah, first story time. I know it's boring. I know I'm going to source, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you guys so much. Please comment. Subscribe. <laughs> like share the channel love you lots see you on the next video guys